Hey everyone, Todd from Sideshow Effects once again, and in this video I'm going to show you the installation of our Universal MIDI Controller for Stream Deck Devices package for the Mac system. We'll start off by assigning some ports and installing a few pieces of software, and then we'll get into the application specific installation methods. So we'll go alphabetically through them, and if you want to jump ahead to a specific package that you need to install, there'll be links in the description below that allow you to jump right to that part. So we're going to start with the Stream Deck software here, and in particular we're in Stream Deck version 5 uh, with the new store here. So you click on the store icon and you go to the left hand side pane here, click plugins, and in the search box over the top of the right here we're going to enter MIDI, and it filters the results for us. And you see it here, this is the one we want here, MIDI, and we're just going to click install. Say OK. And it just takes a second. And that's it. It's installed and we can close this window. And the next thing we're going to do is set up our ports. So we're on the Mac, so we use audio MIDI setup. And you can find that in your applications folder, utilities folder. There it is, audio MIDI setup. And uh, you, you may have these ports, uh, um, but this is the one we're after here, the IEC uh, driver port here. So we click that, and we're presented with this dialog box. Uh, currently, there's no ports that are available here, so we're going to leave this device name blank. Very important. You have to leave that blank. And we're going to click on the plus icon down here. So clicking on that, it gives us a new port. We're going to click on this to rename it. Now the case sensitivity is very important on this. So we're going to type in Mackie Dada. Capital M, capital D. We'll click the plus sign again and do a second one. And click on it, change the name. And this will be Da to Mackie. So capital D to capital M Da to Mackie. Click the plus sign again, and we'll rename this. And this will be Stream Deck to Da Track. So capital S, capital D, capital T. Just like that. And we'll click the plus sign again. Click to rename, and this will be Da Track to Stream Deck. So capital D, capital T, to capital S, capital D. So Da Track to Stream Deck. Just like that. And then we, when we finish that, we click Apply, and we're done. We've added our ports. Now the next thing we want to do is go to the folder you downloaded from Sideshow FX, the Universal MIDI Controller for Stream Deck folder. And in there you'll see a folder here called MIDI Graphics. If we open that up, divide it into Mac and Windows, let's go to the Mac, you will see this folder here, Trevor Liga Spell. This contains all the graphics for the Stream Deck profile we'll be importing in just a minute. This has to be dropped into a very specific place, namely our Documents folder. So we will just simply Click and drag that into a Documents folder. I already have it there, so I won't need to do that right now. We'll fold that up. And the last thing to do here is to import the Stream Deck profile itself. So we'll go to the Stream Deck software, click on the gear icon under the Profiles tab, Flyout menu at the bottom, Import. And in the Stream Deck Profiles folder, under Mac, we have two profiles. One is for the XL device, and one is for the regular 15 key device. So whichever device you happen to be working with, that's the profile you'll import. Now the next step you're going to do is launch Ableton Live. And we're going to go to Live Preferences. And on the left hand pane here we're going to go over to MIDI. and under control services, under the MIDI section here, under control services, we're going to pull down and we're going to go down to Mackie Control. And for the input, it will be Mackie to DAW. And the output, 
DAW to Mackey. And we'll do a second control surface. And this one we'll just make advance. And we'll do stream deck to DAW track. And DAW track to stream deck. So that's how we should be set up there. Now you want to uh, make a few choices on these checkboxes here. So for the Mackie control input, we're going to check off track and remote. The dot to Mackie will select track. And the advanced input, we're going to select track and MPE. And down here for the Mackie control output, the dot to Mackie, select track and for the advanced output we'll also select track and that's all you have to do here close that out and Ableton now has the ports assigned so the next thing we're going to do is launch Cubase and we're going to go over to studio studio setup and on the left hand pane here we'll go down to MIDI port setup now your dialog may look a little different than this one, but what you should have, since we just installed the drivers, you should have in the in uh, port area, Mackie to DAW and Stream Deck to DAW Track, and in the out port area, a DAW to Mackie and a DAW Track to Stream Deck. So for the in port, the Mackie to DAW, we're going to select Visible. For the Stream Deck to DAW Track, we're going to select Visible and in all MIDI. For the DAW to Mackie, select Visible, and for the DAW track to Stream Deck, select Visible. Now over on the left hand side here, we're going to create a, we're going to add a device. So click on Add a Device, and we're going to add in a Mackie Control device. And under our new Mackie Control, for the MIDI input, we're going to select Mackie to DAW, and the MIDI output, DAW to Mackie. Now in this area here, we're going to assign three functions. So for the F1 function, click on the category, and this is going to be an add track, and the command will be audio mono. For F2 in the category, it'll be another add track, and this one will be an instrument. And for F3, this will be a transport category, and the command will be activate metronome. We click apply, and that's our setup for Cubase. Now we're going to open up DaVinci. If you had it open, you'll have to uh, relaunch it. We're going to go to our DaVinci Resolve preferences, and under the control panel section here, select Use MIDI Audio Console. The MIDI protocol will be MCU compatible, and we're going to select from this drop down for the input, will be Mackie to DAW. And the output will be DAW to Mackie. Say save. And there we've set up the ports for DaVinci. Now the next step, we're going to launch Logic Pro. And we're going to go up to the menu here, Logic Pro, Control Services, and Setup. And you'll see this dialog box here. We're going to go to the new menu and say install. We'll scroll down to get to Mackie Control right here and we'll say add and we can close that window out. We have an output port here we're going to select DAW to Mackie and for our input port Mackie to DAW and then we're going to go over to Premiere Pro Preferences and Control Surface. And in the Control Surface dialog, there's a device class. We're going to add. And we'll pull down to Mackie. Now we're going to click on the settings. Double click the Mackie Control. And the device type is Mackie Control. For our MIDI input device, we're going to select Mackie to DAW, and the output device, DAW to Mackie. Say OK. Say OK again, and we'll click through with OK. 
Now the next thing we want to do is launch Reaper. And we're going to the preferences here under Reaper preferences. And we're going to, uh, on the left hand pane here, we'll scroll down to Control OSC Web. Click on that and we're going to click on the Add button. And under Control Surface Mode, we're going to select Mackie Control Universal. And we have MIDI input and MIDI output. Now under MIDI input, we're going to select the IAC driver that we just installed, Mackie to DAW. And on the MIDI output, the DAW to Mackie. Say OK. And still in the same control surfaces, we're going to click Add once again. Control Service Mode, another universal, Mackie Control Universal. MIDI input this time will, will be Stream Deck to DAW Track and the MIDI output DAW track to Stream Deck. And select OK. And OK once again. And we're going to go to launch uh, Studio One. Now I've just got a blank canvas here. So we're just going to go up to Preferences. And in the External Devices section, we're going to click on Add. And on the left hand pane here, we're going to go down to Mackie Control. So in this dialog box here, we have a, a Receive From and a Send To. And under the Receive From, I'm going to select IAC Driver Mackie to DAW. And the Send To, I'm going to have IAC Driver DAW to Mackie. Click OK. And we're going to add a second one here, Add. And this is going to be New Keyboard. And on the Receive From, IAC Driver Stream Deck to DAW Track, and Send to the DAW Track to Stream Deck. And now we have our two devices set up. Now click OK and one more step in Studio One. We're going to open our console, press F3. So with your console visible here, we're going to go to the external devices over here. Click on Control, and Edit, and we're going to assign shortcuts to these functions here. And in the documentation, the PDF documentation that came with your download, it details what uh, you assign each one of these F1 to F8 keys. So you can right click on each one of the F1 keys to assign a command. And you've got this dialog box here, and you can, what we're going to do is we're going to search for the command we want. This one is going to be Add Audio Track Mono. Say OK. And we'll go through and we'll populate the rest of them with the F2 to F8 keys. And once again, they are in your documentation, and we've got them listed right here on the screen. So the next thing we're going to do is launch Nuendo. And we're going to go to the top menu here, Studio, Studio Setup. And under our MIDI port setup here on the left-hand pane, your ports will likely look different uh, than mine do here. But what you should see is a Mackie to DAW and a Stream Deck to DAW track and a DAW to Mackie and a DAW track to Stream Deck. You should be able to see those since we just installed those uh, MIDI ports in the previous step. So what we need to do is in the Mackie to DAW, we're going to select Visible. In the Stream Deck to DAW track, Visible. And we'll also select In All MIDI. For the Out port, we'll select DAW to Mackie, make it visible. And DAW track to Stream Deck, make it visible. Now back over to the left hand pane, we want to add a device here. So we'll click on this and we're going to pull down to a Mackie control device. Now the first thing we want to do is set the input and output. So we'll select the input to Mackie to DAW and the output DAW to Mackie. And we want to go down to the and assign a few of these, uh, these buttons here. So on F1 we want to click on Category and we're going to select Add Track Category and under Command we'll select Audio Mono. We'll go down to F2, we're also doing Add Track here, and under Command we'll select Instrument. Now over to F3, 
We're going to click on the category, and this time we're going to scroll down to Transport. And under Command, we'll select Activate Metronome. Now under F4, the category is going to be Project. And the command will be Select Track Previous. On F5, it will also be Project. And this will be Select Track Next. We apply that and say OK when we're done with the studio setup. So once you're all imported, this is your main page. And uh, along this row are all the different application profiles. So we have Cubase, Studio One, Reaper, Logic Pro, Ableton Live, DaVinci, Premiere, and Nuendo. And of course, clicking on any one of these opens up the full profile for that specific application. Now, in addition, on this row here, we've included, just in the Universal MIDI Controller Pack, uh, two additional profiles. The first is pads, and when we open this up, it's a pads controller for a drum program. And the demonstration of how this works is included in our Universal MIDI Controller guide video, and there'll be a link below to that video. Hopping back out, the other special profile we've included, a keyboard controller. And inside this, this will allow us to control keys on a VST plugin. In addition, we have the set of faders here that you can program to control various aspects of your VST plugin. And once again, uh, this is demonstrated in our Universal MIDI Controller Guide video with a link below. New in version 2 of this pack, we have Articulation Dynamics. Now this couple set of pages here features articulation notes you can use to access articulations in your VST software. And we have a special video we put together demonstrating how all this works, so look for that link in the description below. And that's it. You're all good to go. As always, you can check out our support page. Should you have any concerns or any dif difficulties, you should be able to find some answers there. And once again, thanks very much for downloading the pack. We really appreciate uh, the support from the, the creative community. You guys have been wonderful to us, and we really appreciate you joining us on this journey. Until next time, thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon.